Welcome to Blinken Beep. I will begin with the big thanks for the support that you guys are offering. Uh, please do keep supporting. And if you are new here, kindly check out my other videos as well. And uh, definitely subscribe if you would like to see more of uh, unboxing and reviews of um, like various gadgets that are useful for your day to day life. With that said, we will uh, get going with our review for this video. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the new UPS that I purchased for my router. Uh, here is the product. It's from doctor.com. Mm, the very first impression that this product made is that even with the box, this would almost fit in my palm. So less space it's gonna occupy. That's for one thing. Uh, let's jump into the details now. So as I said earlier, uh, so this product is from doctor.com and uh, it's called Multiple Output Smart UPS um, and it's designed for router, uh, setup boxes and similar devices. So right below that we have two information, um, 29,600 milliwatts hour and 8,000 milliamps hour. Uh, so MWH is actually uh, nothing but milliwatt hour. So that means how long it would take for the battery uh, in this UPS to get discharged completely. Uh, but the next thing is what we are all familiar with though, the milliamps per hour, which is 8000. As someone who is familiar with smartphones and power banks, we all know that this is a pretty good number. 3-in-1 mini size what this means is that it supports up to three devices at the same time so not just one router you can have uh, three devices as per the statement here uh, like a router setup box and similar devices uh, maybe it could even support mobile devices as well smart charging I couldn't find anything in particular about what they mean by smart charging let's look for it in the manual when we unbox this item and up to six hours backup so depending upon the number of devices that you connect this might reduce for me i am just planning to use it only for my router and i'm hoping that it lasts as it says and now to the image on the pack looks simple and neat and it is actually designed to be carried with you um so portable as it looks we also get a glimpse of the uh, input and output ports right here and to the end we have the model number it's DRU8000 um, 8000 or 8000 denoting the milliamps of storage so right below that in this side of the box we got the uh, specifications um, let's go through quick so the model is DRU8000 Capacity 29600 milliwatts per hour input voltage it's 12 volt DC and the output um, 5 volt 2 amps 9 volt 1 amps and 12 volt 2 amps and the maximum Discharge amount. I think it's 30 watts So now about the protection so we get protection from overcharge so overcharge is when the battery is charged continuously even above its intended levels with overcharge protection you get a safety for your battery and its life the next one is over current well this is again uh, useful in keeping the device safe from hazards like overheating risk of uh, catching fire in extreme cases generally it is about avoiding damage to equipment or devices in this case and over discharge this i guess we are all familiar with this ensures that we don't draw more power from the battery generally there are regulators within the device that ensures controlling the battery output and preventing the cells from discharging than the specified limits um, and finally protection from short circuit so again helps protecting the device from malfunction all these actually seems to be very very useful and much needed ones Let's actually move on to the next side right below here. Um, so this 
the quick installation part uh, we have a diagram here it's pretty much straightforward you first connect your daughter dot com ups to your power adapter and then using one of the three available outputs you connect to your devices and you are all set mm, right below that we have something connect mini ups between your existing wi-fi router and power adapter to keep uninterrupted wi-fi the mini ups can supply three devices simultaneously so you can connect up to three devices and all at the same time so that is all self-explanatory um, here we have the uh, certificate instructions so it has got the ce certificate um, which means this product meets a standard for medical quality set by the european community and also it has got the rohs compliant which means this product is free from certain hazardous substances that is otherwise used in electrical and electronic equipments which is again a good thing to be noted um, let's take a quick look at the other side so it has the manufacturer and importer information so we can skip that uh, the weight is 0 0.438 kg just in case if you are wondering and the last item it has warranty one year limited warranty with that said it's time for unboxing um, before I start uh, let me show you the uh, router that I have been using and which I will be using to demo the UPS so it's the Archer uh, C5 from TP-Link um, so the power supply requirement for this device is 12 volt 1 amp um, so just in case if you are wondering if that supports like I said earlier um, it supports 5 volts 9 volt 12 volt so our router should not have any issues and should work well with this UPS all right let's unbox here is our product okay keeping that aside uh, we have got a couple of templates so the first one the package contents smart UPS device quick installation guide warranty terms and conditions and bridge cables and connectors up to three cables and three connectors to bridge different pin sizes all right let's look for the connectors okay that's nice as you can see there is a wide range of connectors available that should support almost all such devices that require input at this range so before we get to this we will see the device first and probably we'll move to that next so like i said earlier it's very small and it's kind of very easy to carry um, and uh, it doesn't feel much way uh, here we have the same information model input output and the capacity and so this is where all the fun is actually um, so here is the input so that's what you connect to the ac power and these are your output ports so it has got uh, two pin type output ports and one usb port uh, it has a built-in power button and also LED indicators to let you know the charge or the storage level so it has like it goes from level 1 to level 4 and level 4 means you have full charge so that's really useful and so also here you get the uh, 
um, information so this is for power and here it's written LED so that's the charging thing and so actually here is a difference so the USB supports 5 volts and the one nearby the USB port supports 9 volts and the one towards the right supports 12 volts so in our case uh, my device or the my router actually supports or it requires 12 volts so I will be using this port and we will be demoing with that um, so let's actually talk a bit about the bridge cables and uh, the different pins that are available uh, so to talk about the bridge cables first they are actually useful for uh, connecting these three different ports at the same time let me show you how it's actually pretty simple so yeah so just take one end and insert it okay that's probably the other way okay and yeah so this way you will be able to use um, three different devices at the same time and just in case if the device doesn't support these pins probably you can use attach these pins provided with the device so that you can connect to your device all right uh, it's time for the demo um, so i have my adapter that i have been using with my router uh, so i'm gonna plug it in my ac inlet and switching it on and now this end goes into the in input here all right so that works and as soon as i put it in um, there is this led indication that's coming up here um, so it indicates that it is in charging mode let's try to unplug it and see how much of the juice is left here okay uh, i hope it's visible actually yeah so it has two points um, it's a decent amount for now mm, i just wanted to also test how to turn it on or off so let's see okay okay so pressing the power button two times it actually turns off the device and let's see okay so pressing it one time it turns on the device and again i'm gonna plug the input okay yep so as you can see it's charging now and i will be using one of the bridge cables and i am as you can see i am putting it in the 12 volt socket we just place the device down and let me take my router and this end actually goes into the power in the router okay so everything fits well so probably i might not need the uh, uh the other pins that came with the box let's see hopefully this should turn on mm. yeah so i can see the uh, power blinking i'm sorry if that's not it visible let me just give it a few minutes or a few seconds actually yeah so actually now my device is on i can see the uh, power and the wi-fi uh, turned on so right now i don't have the uh, internet cable connected because i couldn't reach out to the cable uh, to take it here to the table here 
um so apart from that it's all been working fine so actually with that uh, we come to the end of this video so this product is um, really a value for money and for people doing work from home and students attending online classes power cuts can be really painful so this device helps with that in the most perfect way uh, hope this was a helpful video more videos on the way and more available in my channel please check it out thank you bye bye